Okay, so this week in our backyard, we are chasing an idea. So this chain link fence is our least favorite. This chain link fence is also the easiest one to see from our back door. And it's right behind Cassie's garden and her swinging chair. So I like the idea of having trailing plants, cascading plants hanging down from a basket at the top of the fence. So that way from where we're sitting here behind us, we'll have vines and flowers trailing, cascading down off the fence behind us and it'll block view of this fence from the house and it will expand where we're able to plant without taking up too much more ground space. Here's what I came up with. So I found out Home Depot carried 10 foot strips of rain gutter for less than $5, just for the gutter itself. When we went shopping, we were able to find the gutter the supports, the end caps, and these coat hangers along with the bolts and nuts for them for about $30 total, which is not a bad deal for a 10 foot long planter. Yesterday I took the time to assemble it. I put the supports in about every two feet, the end caps on as well as the coat hangers upside down to hook onto the fence. They're about three feet apart. So we're actually gonna save money on soil here. This is out of our compost. Our compost is about a year's worth of grass clippings, weeds, leaves, branches, ash from our fire pit, food waste, chicken poop, as well as the pine needles that fell off of those trees back there. And it's like super nice soil now. It looks like we bought it from the store. We're gonna use this for our soil. Yeah, it's probably gonna break. <laughs> it's sagging a lot. I'm gonna go in between my hangers and rope it to the fence to hold it up so that it doesn't fall out because it's gonna get heavier when I water it. So I rope here, rope here, and rope here. And that'll hold it up to the fence a little better. But it's in place. I've used this paracord on other outdoor projects before. It's extremely hardy. Total, it was about $60. It was $30 to make the planter and $30 for the plants. And to cover 10 feet of my fence, I think that's a pretty good deal. I'm not gonna wait till they're all grown in to shoot my final video. You guys get the picture here. If you wanna see what they look like grown in, you'll have to come back to another video. As they grow in, if they live and look really well, I'll, I'll update my thumbnail. Either way, I'm just excited to see how this turns out. Like I said at the beginning, I was just chasing an idea and we're gonna see what this ends up turning out like. If it ends up looking really good, I'll probably make another one and put it on this stretch of fence. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. If you want to support my channel and you want to share any of my videos, that would be hugely appreciated. All your support is really appreciated. Uh, thank you for watching this one. Comment anything you want below, any questions you have. We'll see you guys in the next video.